Hi guys, quick monthly favorites video for you for the month of August. I'm a little bit behind, uh, but that's the story of my life, right? So I'm gonna just go ahead and get started. A toner that I've been using on my face uh, quite a bit lately is this one that I got from Kiehl's. It is the Calendula, I hope I'm saying that right, Calendula Herbal Extract Toner. It has no alcohol in it. It actually has little bits of flowers. It's made with whole flowers and pure extracts, and it's good for normal to oily skin. I like this a lot. Can you see the stuff in there? I like using this. It doesn't make my skin feel tight at all, which is bonus for me because I can't stand it when my skin feels tight after I use anything. So I have been using that and really been liking it. Now all my stuff just fell over because I was trying to um, be neat and put everything away as I go, but apparently I can't even manage that. Uh, a uh, nail polish that I've been using. Actually, it's not a nail polish. It's a top coat. This is my all-time favorite fast dry top coat. It is from China Glaze. It is called Fast Forward Top Coat. I use it all the time. I feel like it dries my nails really fast, and it kind of makes my nails look um, like I have fake nails on. The way that it coats my nails, they look, um, I don't know, it looks almost like a gel finish to me or a shellac. So I really like using that. It's a lot, it's cheaper I'm not going to say a lot cheaper, but it's cheaper than the Sech Vite that I used to use. And I don't feel like this sort of gets thick quite as fast as the Sech Vite. So this is my go-to uh, fast dry top coat. Uh, I did get some new brushes from Up and Up. And I can't remember if I showed these to you guys. I think I made a video and then I ended up scrapping it. Actually, yes, I did. I did a haul video and I, I scrapped the whole thing. So I'll show you the brushes that came in the set. Um... I've actually seen these being used on uh, YouTube in several videos. I can't remember who I saw them, who I saw using them. Uh, but anyway, I saw these quite a while ago and was have been tempted to buy them quite a few times and decided to just go ahead and give in to Temptation. These are the brushes. Again, they're Up and Up brand. These are from Target. My two favorite are these right here. I like using this with my under eye powder and then I like to use this one when I do uh, like blush or bronzer. There is another brush that comes in the set. I have no, oh here it is, this one here. It's kind of like an eyeshadow brush and I use I use that to put on my cream eyeshadows. So it was $11 for all four of these and they came with a nice little zip up case if you travel. My go-to black liner, you guys know that I love this one, it is the Pro Longwear definedly black liner from MAC. It's just, it's really black, it's super creamy, and once it sets, it stays put. Now, to be honest with you guys, I do prefer the 24-7 pencil, I believe it's called Zero from Urban Decay, but it makes my eyes itch and burn, so I can't use it. So that one I have found is the next best thing to using the Urban Decay. So I use that every day, I just tight line with it. Uh, because it lasts. It has a good wear to it. I've used this in the last couple videos and I can't wait to buy this. I'm kind of waiting for the double discount at work to get this, but I got a sample of the Dior Star Foundation and I really, really like it a lot. Uh, my Chanel, what was this one, my Chanel Perfection Lumiere is probably my number one used uh, foundation, but since I got the sample of this, I've been using it like crazy. And actually, uh, my friend at work was uh, kind enough to give me another little tester of this until I can buy the actual uh, bottle. But I think the coverage is really nice. I've been using it with my fake beauty blender um, and it goes on nicely. The wear is beautiful. Um, I've gotten quite a few compliments on my skin and I, I feel like it's because of that foundation. Um, but it wears nicely throughout the day. It doesn't make my skin look oily. Um, it's just, in my opinion, an awesome foundation. For highlighting, I just keep coming back to my Bobbi Brown. Holy cow, I really can't stand living on a busy street. I can't stand living on a busy street. Uh, my Bobbi Brown highlighter in Apricot, it's one of the um, shimmer bricks. And this is definitely my most used highlighter. I just really like how it looks. It has just a little bit of um, a color to it and it's on the warmer side which I really like so <clears throat> this is definitely a favorite I use it all the time two blushes that I have found myself reaching for quite a bit lately are these two from Mac this one is called new romance it's a mineral blush and I gotta I gotta tell you guys I do not like the new packaging this is what it looks like 
they're not the easiest in the world to open up. Like I have to stick my fingernail underneath to pull it open, but this is what it looks like. And I just, I think it's very pretty. I like it a lot. That's the color of it there. Um, it's, it's pretty. It has, it's kind of like a, a pinky peach color and it does have a little bit of shine to it. So it's kind of like a blush and a highlighter in one, which I like. And then the other one is called Petal Power. And this one's in the old packaging, easy to open. Um, that's what it looks like. And I've liked this since it came out. This was actually in a um, collection not too long ago, and I can't remember which collection. Um, but this one is more on the pink side here. And again, it does have some shimmer. So very pretty. I've been using those two blushes probably the most in the last month or so. For a lip gloss, and I'm not a huge gloss fan. Um, I'm actually not a big lipstick person either. Like, I filmed this tutorial and immediately took the lips off because I just... I'm not big into lipstick and gloss, but the one that I have been using the most is another MAC product. This one is a plush glass and it's called Ample Pink. And I feel like it's a really pretty pink color. There's no shimmer in it whatsoever. Um, it's just, it enhances my natural lip color, which I like. And it's not overly sticky, which is something else that I like. So I find myself reaching for this one quite a bit, especially like if I'm in a hurry in the morning for work and I need something on, I just pop this on and I'm good to go. You guys have seen this before. You're probably getting tired of seeing this one also, but I can't help it. I got this little sample of NARS Laguna bronzer and I just, I adore it. It's my favorite bronzer. It doesn't have any shimmer in it. I feel like this one looks the most natural on my skin tone. It's not orange. It's just, for me, it's the perfect bronzer. If you want to contour with this, you can. If you just want to wear it as a, as a bronzer, you can. A lot of times, like today, I don't even have blush on. This is all that I have on, and I just, I really like how it looks. I will definitely be buying the big one, and it's not cheap. It's like $38, which in my opinion is crazy for a bronzer, but I kind of justify it by telling myself, because I do enjoy it so much, I know that I'm going to use it every day, so that's kind of like how I justify the price, but I think $38 is crazy. So a base that I have really been um, using a lot lately is actually a color tattoo. This one is the leather finish and it's called Creamy Beige. And I really like this a lot. I like the color tattoos. They, they really are comparable to high end like paint pots. They don't crease, they have a really good wear to them. You can wear them as your eyeshadow or as a base. Um, and it makes just eyeshadow colors just more vibrant. Uh, so I really, really like those. I have quite a few of the color tattoos, and I do like the leather finish. Um, it just looks really pretty on. Something else that I really have been liking using lately is the Anastasia Contour Kit. I like to use this color here, and you can see that it has gotten some wear. A lot of times I will mix these two or those two. Sometimes I just wear the middle by itself. I just really like how it looks. Again, it looks more natural. Uh, for those of you that like to contour, in my opinion, this is a great contour palette to have. Uh, I know that there are other contour palettes out there. Like, I know there's one from It Cosmetics. Um, I think Smashbox has, like, their little contour kit. I feel like this would suit a lot of different skin tones. Um, and what's really nice is it has these three highlight colors. This middle one here, like I've said before, it's kind of like in between Ben Nye Banana Powder and the MAC Neutralize Powder. It's not quite as cool as MAC, and it's not quite as warm as Ben Nye. It's just, it's just kind of in the middle. Um, I haven't used that one a lot recently because... I got my Ben Nye um, Cameo Powder, uh, but the highlight colors are really nice. For inner corner um, highlighting and color correcting, I've really gotten back into using my uh, Pixie Peach Corrector. It is called Correction Concentrate Brightening Peach um, Correction Concealer. I really like this. You can get these at Target. I'm sure you can order them online, but it is a peach color and it does add a little bit of a highlight and if you have any like sort of blue or purple in the inner corner this neutralizes that to make the area look a little bit more normal so this is definitely a go-to for me I was using uh, MAC Bright Forecast for a long time but I kind of feel like um, the pigmentation isn't as good as the Pixie Peach Corrector so that's it short video a quick uh, monthly favorites um, now, I wanted to just touch quickly on the giveaway that I talked about some time ago. I have not forgotten. What I decided to do was have kind of like a birthday giveaway. Not my birthday, but my channel's birthday. 
Um, it's coming up very soon and it will be four years that I've been on YouTube. I can't believe it's been four years. Like I have to keep doing the math in my head. Um, anyway, it's been awesome. I've met a lot of really cool people here on YouTube. Um, so I kind of wanted to do something for you guys. I'm still kind of going back and forth as to whether or not I want to break the items up and maybe have two giveaways or just have one big one and just, you know, have one winner. Um, so I'm still kind of deciding what I want to do. I have some stuff. I wanted to get a few more things for the giveaway. Uh, so I just want to let you guys know that I haven't forgotten. Uh, I'm just kind of waiting until the anniversary date of my channel. So stay tuned for that. Again, that is only open to subscribers of my channel. All right, enough said. I'm done talking. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Oh, and really quick, I did want to tell you what's on my nails. Uh, I like this color a lot. This is something new I just got from Wet n Wild. It is called Echo Dark. And I really like the packaging. The handle is kind of like rubberized. It's really cool. But anyway, that's what's on my nails. And then the glitter is one from Urban um, Outfitters. I can't remember the name of it. I'll put it down below. But I really like my nails. It's like super dark blue. So anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, keep a lookout for the um, announcement for my giveaway. I'm not going to have just a video announcing the giveaway. You guys know how I do that. So um, anyway, thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.